The conference has been organized by the National Trust in partnership with World Monuments Fund. It was this very organization which included the historic 1889 Georgetown City Hall on their 2014 World Monuments Watch. This was the first time a site in Guyana was included on the watch, an initiative which was designed to aid in the restorative efforts of the building. Addressing those gathered, the CEO of the National Trust of Guyana, Ms. Nirvana Passad, stressed that preservation was a job for all. The task of heritage preservation is a huge one. And one must therefore involve everyone as we are all stakeholders in the process. This requires cohesive long-term planning, dedicated efforts, and most importantly, unwavering support and cooperation from stakeholders. Program Director of the World's Monuments Fund, Ms. Norma Barbacci, in her brief remarks, offered the following piece of advice. Insert. Minister of Education Rupert Rupnerain spoke of the government's plan to have culture integrated into the education system. Invest in your future by investing in your past. During the next three days, as uh, Nirvana um, indicated, a group of Guyanese and international experts will discuss all kinds of subjects, including heritage management, po policy, history, preservation theory, documentation, conservation, sustainability, community participation, cultural and natural heritage, and of course, the economics of preservation. Minister of Education Rupert Rupnerain spoke of the government's plan to have culture integrated into the education system. How we integrate culture into our education system so that we can instill in our children a sense of value with regard to rich cultural heritage and the openness of mind to celebrate the resulting diversity. Minister Rupnerain also noted that there was little which could prevent Guyana from preserving its rich heritage. Prime Minister Moses Nagamutu declared the event open, welcomed the initiative, and pledged governmental support. But for now, we must devote attention to our heritage stock from the past. Our government therefore supports all initiatives taken by this conference to build awareness amongst Guyanese people and corporate citizens to join in protecting and preserving our monuments and heritage generally. Also, the event was U.S. Ambassador Perry Holloway, who informed those gathered that the U.S. was seeking funds to also restore the Starbuck Market's tower and clock, as well as the lighthouse. I am sure that everyone finds this a most welcomed initiative. Rihanna.